Hello YouTubers, this is Biozone. Welcome to Kerbal Space Program, a space flight simulating game that I mostly love to play and join. So let's start up a new game. I have pre-existing ones. Hello Valentina Kerman, a female Kerber not. Let's start up a new one. We will be doing a science. We'll be calling this the Bio War on Item Names. Hello. Hello, Jen Jenny Kerman. Nice to meet you. I am Jenny Kerman, flight director and your guide for this quick instruction. This is the space center from your na 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 na. I'm done with you. Go away, shoot. So this is our simple station. We have our runway. This is our airport where we can launch planes. Here we have the astronaut complex where we get more Kerbals. We have our administration building. This only works in career mode. Also in here, mission control again only works. But this is where I'm mostly going to be going, which is research and development. And in here, as you can see, it's where we will use all of our science. Here, we only have this, the starting start, which is research. And this is what we get. We just get some simple things. We get a basic fin. We get the command pod, a booster, uh, the mystery goo we just get some simple things so let's go and build our first ever little ship i'm just gonna call this ship best guess is basic i'm not gonna put much emphasis into its name since it's tiny little unuseful and very quick to get rid of hello goodbye i don't really care to read their names so we're going to name this one basic and here we go. We have to place a command pod first. Here it is in all of its glory. We'll next go get our first flea, our first little prototype engine. We're gonna go see what else. We have structural or not taking those. We're gonna take some fins. We're gonna use the symmetry mode and we're going to place four fins to keep us balanced through space. We're gonna put us a parachute on. Now we're gonna go grab us two goo. We want two goo pads, or two goo, two goo pods, because we can get two science. And down here in the corner is our staging. Now we don't want to deploy our chute and launch at the same time, so we'll separate those. And now we will proceed to launch. I just realized basic has two C's in it, so that was my fail right there. Nobody questioned it. It was just a fail. But, um, so here's our launch pad, we can basically see. Down here is our navigational globe where we can tell us where the command pod is pointing. Right now we are pointing straight up. We can control our throttle however we want. But for right now, we have no throttle because this is a booster and boosters just fire once and fire only. T. So it turns on SAS, which is your stabilizing system, and R turns on your RCS, which is your monopropellant. We won't see monopropellant until later, but we'll turn both of those on. We'll go up to one of our goo canisters. We'll observe some mystery goo, and we'll get some easy science points with that. Here we go. We get three science points. Goo doesn't seem to do much, much. Doesn't seem to do much right now. And we'll just keep on to that. And then we'll hit spacebar. Now as we do launch, I want to observe this. I'm telling you this right now. You will get research from about doing anything. Landing the goo in the water and observing it. Grinding it against the surface. You'll collect it by as you can see we're going super fast, so we'll dull off some speed by turning. See if we just, it says right here, if we were to deploy our chute, it would break and we would lose it. And our thruster is almost done. It's just about to run out of fuel. Now it's just going to be a lonely flight, but good thing we can warp some speed. Speed time out. Wee! Fly, fly high into the sky. Do a little wibble wobble. Do a little wibble wobble. Wibble wobble. Up. And now we will start falling back. And I'm going to deploy the chute now. 
which will slow us down. Now when you are boosting, you cannot warp time. When you, okay, I actually forget. I have to go up here to the parachute, and again by right clicking, you can go in here and change the settings. And I want to increase the height just a bit to where the chute will deploy so it doesn't kill Jebediah. Jebediah, he just loves flying. So we'll give it some warp again. Oh, and we slow down. Our shoot has deployed, dropping our speed critically. And there it is in a ball of our lord. And here it is again, our beautiful little. And now we can see in the full basking glory of our little space station. I just said space station. I mean ground center. I don't know what you would call this. But uh, we can also get some last minute by doing a crew report seeing that the shores look inviting and you watch the waves roll into the coast well that's some easy info we have Jebediah Kerman in there right here we can also do this we can also see through his eyes be like well we got what we got And all physical things work in here, like if I increase and decrease the throttle, it works in here. If I turn RCS and ACS off, it, this all goes along with it. And it all works pretty Something just exploded while I wasn't paying attention. Let's hit C to get out of there, and we lost our wings. Okay. So let's go up here and tell us to recover our vessel. We'll probably make this video short, probably just about 15 minutes. Launch our second rocket. Okay, so overall we have hit 18 science. Jebediah is all nice and dandy. He never, he's already ready. Um, 10, 10, 10, 5, and 1. So now we can go right in here and unlock some stuff. So we can unlock both these things. We will gain the junior science junior. We'll gain an antenna and a decoupler. Decouplers are the best thing ever. They really help out with staging. Now we have here we have basic rockets, a booster, some fuel, and an actual engine we can physically control. Let's see. Do we have enough science to unlock? No, we need 15. So we must soar to newer heights and unlock more science. So, we're going to launch basic again, except this time we're going to launch basic into the water and get some water science. And hopefully if we're lucky and we can land in the shores, if we're f able to land in the shores we can go and collect sand, which again is free science. You can gain about 100 science on Kerbal before launching into outer space. So here we go again. Let's reset everything. <laughs> okay, and launch and turn the little tiny. Or I were to say rocket landing. Just make this really short. Make this a short trip. And I'm pretty sure I just destroyed our shoot. Yep. Now we're going to refurt this flight and not die again. <laughs> Whoops. I accidentally hit space way too early right there. Sorry about that. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Probably gonna get copyrighted for that. No, I won't because I'm too awesome. Battle zone. Kind of rocking it. Probably the cheapest rocket ever too. Career mode is a lot harder. It deals with doing a lot of contracts, making a lot of money, still collecting science, checking up on your rep reputation. It deals with a lot of economics, playthrough stuff. If you guys want to see more of it, please, if you want to see that mode, please tell me in the chat. And I'll be gladly to try and start that one up. Um, well, I'll do some wacky science stuff. So I do not know if I will ever get into doing modeled mo modded Kerbal Space Program if I do I'll probably do a lot of aerospace because aerospace is 
the best mod ever to use in Kerbal Space Program. It's the best, it's the fun, it's the most intuitive. And they took a long time in creating their parts for it. And overall, I love just playing Kerbal Space Program all along. It's a really neat, nice game. Physically and through. <sighs> and now descending. In a nice, calm mid rate. I'll probably launch some things, probably make a little tiny base on the moon. Make myself present there, be like, Hello, moon Martians. I do not come in peace, I will shoot you. I would, I would shoot a Martian in the face. I wouldn't care if we want to understand them, I would shoot them in the face. Cause I don't care. I would shoot them in the face. There's water, we're going to make splash down. Hopefully we can stay slow enough to where the water won't destroy us on impact. Let's go and increase our speed, hurry this up. I am dropping frames. I'm very sorry if this is not a very high quality video. I am using a laptop, not a desktop. Hopefully you get a desktop soon. Christmas is right around the corner, which I would love to get a gaming computer. Hope, hope, hope. Okay, and only only 200 meters above the surface, let's speed it up a bit, and when we hit 100 we'll stop warping, there we go, stop warping, there we go, let's see if we can get some different looking signs before we hit the water, I think that's, reset the test. As you can see, we're super far from the shoreline. So yada yada, boom boom, we can't get sand, but we will get some water. Here's Splashdown. Lose our wings again, giant water. Okay, let's our mystery here while it's in the water. Spoosh. Escapes into the water, keep that science. And now we will EVA, which means we will exit our spacecraft, jump right out, swing around a bit, and be like, ooh, what? You can click on our curve here. You can take an EVA report. We can take a surface sample. And now we can head right back into our spacecraft. Let's hopefully we can still board it. If we can board our spacecraft, recover the vessel. And there we go, we're rocketing up to 30.5 science points, which will be hopefully two nice unlocks into our world. Stability is greatly needed, and radiator so. This atmosphere heating does not blow us up halfway through escape. And we're going to need more science later on. But that is all for today, folks. Please leave a like and always be happy. Keep the world clean. And thank you very much.